Cyclists tired of the status quo taking to the streets tonight, demanding the city do more to protect them. All right, according to city numbers, 26 people have been killed riding bikes in the city. That's the second most since record keeping began. Fox Ice Kendall Green spoke to bikers who say enough is enough. <laughs> Hundreds of cyclists packed into Union Square Park for a ride in unity to City Hall, rallying for safer streets in New York City Wednesday. We love it, but at the same time, it's so dangerous. Tracy Hinder is among the hundreds demonstrating, fueled by frustration surrounding other cyclists, people she knows and loves hit by drivers. These injuries and deaths are for the most part completely preventable. She and organizers of transportation alternatives believe the city can take stronger measures, making cyclists more visible for drivers, advocating to prevent more cyclist deaths amid a record high this year. 26 ghost bikes and helmets representing people who lost their lives while riding a bike here in New York City. For many people who came out here, these symbols are very serious. He was special. He was a light. He could light up any room he walked in. Jaden McLaurin, Deja Daniels' 16-year-old nephew's life was tragically taken while putting a city bike away at its dock in Queens six months ago. Everyone's outside rallying, looking for change, looking for laws to be created, um, looking to hold the mayor accountable, looking to hold our district attorneys accountable. Similar story for Tanisha McLean, mourning the loss of her father, 56-year-old Emmanuel Patterson, who was run over by a box truck and killed in Brooklyn last week. We want Mayor Adams to do what he needs to do to make these, these streets safe because look at, look at all these people. It should not be this many people who are not here anymore. The levels of fatalities are record-breaking levels and they're all occurring on Mayor Adams streets. He has the tools to keep us safe and he's not using them. At City Hall, Kendall Green, Fox 5 News.